All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's VMP. Welcome back. This time we're here with a little more Perizno, getting back in with Torvik Underhelm, the legendary dwarf himself. Oh, last episode was probably the most interesting so far. Uh, the Zan came in like a goddamn wrecking ball. Um, yeah, they start out the episode with like maybe these these towns and castles, and ended up taking out all of this. And then, just for the fuck, just for the fun of it, went all the way over here. They have, like, the entire border of the map. Like, this isn't- oh my god, it's fucking insane. Um, good news is, there's not a lot of good news in this, in this situation. But, the small good news that there is, is that they are at war with everybody, and they are spread out very far. I, I want to say spread thin, but they have so many troops that they're not really spread thin, but they are- what troops they do have are spread out. So- uh, today, we need to play our cards very carefully. We need to be cautious, um, because it's admittedly, we did get a castle. We do have a very nice army right now. Um, the Zans still outnumber us. Probably, good god, I don't know, like, <laughs> 20 to 1, <laughs> at least. Um, so we need to be very careful. So, uh, today what I want to do is I want to make us some more money, because we are a little bit low on cash just because we were buying up a bunch of troops, um, just to stock up this garrison. Um, so I want to get some more cash, I want to get some more troops and buff this garrison up to at least in the 200s. Um, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if this was in the 200s so that no little lord is going to run around. Um, I think, you know what, if we can do that, I'll, I'll be happy with, uh, with today. Um, it would be nice to start punching some of these Xan units, but, you know, when they got this many troops. Actually, looking at these guys right now, um... So, the nice thing with the Xan right now, as you guys told me in the comments, they don't have shields. They are very susceptible to ranged fire. They don't have cavalry, which makes our cavalry charges against them very nice. So, this dude actually has 62 prisoners. I wouldn't mind fighting him right now by himself. Yeah, they do have... Oh, they have 27 mounted berserkers. We haven't seen those yet, I don't think. Um, but I don't think their, their cavalry is going to be as good as ours. And as we learned last episode, our dwarven crossbow is like a, a semi-automatic rifle right now. Like, it's not quite powerful enough to one-shot guys, but if it doesn't kill you in one shot, it'll probably kill you in two. And luckily, we get three shots before we even need to reload that thing. Alright, let's fight this dude. 97 against 209? I feel, I'm feel, I feel confident, reasonably confident. Alright, here we go. So let's, uh, where do we want them to come in yet? Alright, so I'm gonna tell my archers, so we actually have a decent amount of archers now, don't we? What are we looking at? Oh, two, what? Oh, we must have stationed... Oh, we probably stationed all of them. That's what happened. Okay, well, never mind. We're not going to have an archer. We're going to have our cavalry charge in and take out these guys. Boom. That's one down. Oh, I don't have my volume on. I can't hear what's going on. Oh, there's another good hit on him. So they do exit. Those are some ginormous bows. What the fuck are those things? Alright. Alright, so they got their... Here's all their infantry and whatnot. Like I said, I mean, they do outnumber us 2 to 1 here, but we have cavalry, which I think, and very elite cavalry, which I think more than counteracts that. Yeah, our guys are just tearing through them right now. Alright, I feel good. I feel good. And I'll immediately- oh wait, fuck, I forgot. Our horse is really weak. Oh shit, 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 shit. <laughs> our horse nearly died in just that little bit there. Okay, gotta remember that bit. Gotta remember that bit. I normally get caught up on that, like, early on every Prisno episode, because I'm used to just charging in and not really worrying about our horse dying, at least not right away. Like, I understand, it doesn't have armor, it's not that beefy, but I'm used to them at least being able to take a few hits. This one, I've literally seen it get one-shotted. I've never had that in any series before. Now, they're doing a lot of damage to us, so we might actually want to... I want. I wanted to slow down there and use my crossbow a little bit, but I guess not. Do we... Oh, do we actually have a lot of... Are those infantry? Oh, those are our infantry. That's right, because our uh, those hired mercenaries that we have, um, they're still considered infantry, even though I gave them horses. That's right. All right, we'll take out that dude. All right, let me turn up my sound real quick. There we go. I want to hear the sounds of their their cries as they get slaughtered. That's not dark at all. <laughs> all right, I think is this? Are they basically cleaned up? Oh no, they are not basically cleaned up. There's a, more, a lot more coming. All right, well, let's let's try to do something here. Kind of hard to tell who they're in for. There's so many of them. Oh, we killed a Zan pe peasant. That's fun. Alright, the rest of our troops are doing good. I actually... Hmm... I'm, mm, I kind of want to, like, tell our, our cavalry to regroup and charge back in, but... 
the Xan are coming in so slowly that our cavalry can keep up with it. It's not like there's massive clumps of infantry that our cavalry that are, you know, like uh, going around our cavalry and surrounding them and taking them out. Our cavalry is keeping up with them pretty easily. All right, and then they just got these scrubs left. Whoever this is. There's one down. Oh, they're not even worth any experience. Scrubs. Who do I even want to... Jesus, these are worth like 40 experience. Are you kidding me? This isn't even worth Torvik's time. We're done? Holy shit. Yeah, that was a great battle. Okay, so. It's kind of like what you guys thought in the comments. The Xan, crazy numbers. Not that tough on the battlefield. We only lost four troops there. Who'd we lose? A Nappin? A Draken Nap? That sucks. I'm sorry, War Rider? Whatever. Oh, we lost one of the Draken Hertz Ritters. Jesus, Dan, stop texting me. Alright, you know I'm gonna have to actually unplug my phone here. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Um, yeah, shit, that was good. That was very good. And we get, oh, sweet, boy. I think you guys were right. Whoever said that, like, your uh, persuasion affects what troops you recruit out of these, you were definitely right, because we are all of a sudden getting a whole bunch of great units from here that we would not be getting uh, previously. Uh, I guess we'll get these two. I mean, we might as well, like, fill out this and just station the guys we don't want in the castle. Two more hired cavalry, a dragon ritter. Nice, a dragoner. Awesome. Awesome. I'm loving it. Okay, uh... Troops? Anybody want some of that shit? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Touche. Touche. There we go. Very nice. Let's get out of here. Alright, so that's good. Agnar leveled up. Even better. So let's go to Mernhall. It's like our... I guess we do still have Voldeberg, so... We do have two towns left. But Voldeberg's kind of out of the way. Uh, who's in here? Bunch of our dudes that got taken out. And they're still trying to rebuild their armies. I like how in that in this short amount of time we've become like the preeminent lord among the uh the Reich. I find that funny. Okay, so we finished off the essays on logic. I don't want to sell it off because then it'll disappear. We'll probably put that in our castle um chest. Nothing really good here. Actually, hold on, what was that? Was that helmet? Oh no. Oh no, no. I forgot. We have some really good armor here. What about here? Anything good? A thick metal shield? I can't even see that. Maybe that's just... Ah, oh, that's just very dark. I guess my screen was tinting a little bit. Um, alright, we got plenty of food, especially with Kangish. He's giving us a ton. Oh, we bought a bunch of land. That's why we, we lost a bunch of... Or, why we don't have as much money as we did before. So we have 42 acres of land here. And they're supposed to give us... 800, uh... Huh. It's supposed to give us 800 a week. But I think something's different, because this last sentence here, land won't be rented if a town is already well supplied. I think that's why we're not quite making Because if we were making 800 per acre, we'd be making 32 grand a week just off of this. And we're def definitely not making that much money. Alright, good enough. So let's quick go back to uh, Arklau. Has that been given to us yet, officially? I don't think it has, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, it has. Okay. Take that back. There's some big groups of snow crawlers. 54. Ilkafalki... What do you got here? Oh, some Draharan units. Not interested. Alright, here we go. Uh, so let's manage the castle. Already building blacksmith. Garrison. Alright, we'll put these guys away. Um, probably put the Holy Crusader. Oh no. Holy Crusader's pretty bu pretty beefy. Oh, sweet! Our first hired knight. Okay, we'll upgrade him in a sec. Um, he's pretty beefy. We've got some hired master archers here. So we didn't put our archers in here. I guess we just put, put our crossbow guys. Okay, I think we're fine right now. Um, oh, we actually leveled up. Did we? I don't I don't remember us leveling up. Oh no, we just have an extra skill point. Oh shit, yeah, let's... Oh yeah, hell yeah, let's get some leadership. So that'll increase our max size by 10, as well as uh, decrease wages. Perfect. Uh, and then let's invest in crossbows and two-handed. Alright, um, yeah, okay, so let's talk to this hired knight so you guys can see this process. He starts out at 125 weeks, so I can only guess how high this is going to be once we fully equip him. But he's pretty beefy. 79 health, not bad. It's some really great weapon proficiency. 8 power strike, uh, 8 iron flesh, 8 riding. He could even be a pretty good horse archer. Does he level up again? Or is that maxed out? That's maxed out, so these are the best units. Okay. Alright, let's change his equipment. So first off, very heavy body armor. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom. Dragon scale. It's actually not as good as the enchanted. What about this? Uh, 72. It's not as much leg armor, but it's a lot more head armor. I think we might get this. 
the rest of our the rest of our troops, a whole bunch of them are using this enchanted elven armor, so I kind of want something new, the fountain guard armor. And it's actually cheaper. More head armor, a little more body armor. Yeah, that's worth it. Oh man, those guys look legendary. That was pretty nice. Okay, so we'll give him that. Um, heavy headgear. What do we got down here? Uh, royal enchantment? No. We'll give him... A bris oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Wait. Do we need all that head armor, or could we... The problem is the rest of these really good helmets don't... I don't really like the look of them. Like this thing? I guess... Uh, even that, that, that kind of looks jarring. And this one is going to look like... That one looks stupid. Ah, right, well, no. We'll go with the uh, Prisno Twilight Helm. Looks good. So, footwear. I think it's just the... Yeah, the Dark Knight plate boots. Those go well with just about everything. Gloves. Black plate mittens. Once again, those go well with everything. All right, now on to the weapons. So we're gonna give them the, uh, yeah, we'll give them the one-handed sword. What's the best that they got? Is it did anything new unlock? I don't think they did. Imperial cavalry sword. Yeah, it's not as good as the. Uh, where's the? Here we go. Royal swords with emerald. I, I think this. Yeah, this has to be better. That has to be better. Okay. I'll give them that. Um, shield. Did it unlock some new stuff? Ooh, this looks nice. That looks really nice. Golden royal shield. I don't even care how it stats compared to everything else. That just that fits with uh, his armor and everything. Okay, um, probably do we want to give him two shields? Maybe let's give him two shields. So give him that and give him another one. Yeah, let's give him two of those, and then we'll give him a lance as well. Uh, knight's lance. Where is that at? Somewhere over here. Cavalier knight's lance. Is a knight the best one? No, cavalier is better. Knight lord lance. There we go. And then finally the mount. What do we got here? Go all the way to the bottom. Oh, Prisno Twilight Horse. Look at Jesus Christ. 78 armor. 48 speed, 48 maneuver, 64 charge. What in the hell is that? Are you kidding me? That's insane. We need one of those. It's super fast. Super high armor. And hit points. Everything it's across the board. It's outstanding. Holy shit. Okay. Keep moving. So how expensive is he now? 300 a week. That's not that bad for a unit like that. Look how look how badass they look. Jesus. Okay. We need to start getting some more of him. Okay. Um. So hold up. We didn't actually. Did we manage the garrison? We dropped. Yeah, we dropped some troops off, and we have up to 120 now. I feel like I kind of want to drop off maybe some of these guys. We'll drop off those, and then mm, we'll drop off these guys because they're infantry. They'll be. They'd be better in a siege. Okay, that looks good. Go to Lord's Hall, and then what? Press number one to store ten thousand orms in the thief's treasury, or number two to to withdraw. To, okay. Oh wait, wait, hold, oh, oh, hold up. What was that last bit? What was that last bit? Press number three to switch on off this thief, accumulating money from rents, tariffs, enterprises instead of sending them to you. Uh, I think they're already. It's already going to us. I'm pretty sure. Okay, uh, constable. I want. Can you can you train people? Oh, I would like to hire a household guard. Oh, sweet. Um, recruits and training. I want you to keep on training ones and train the ranged cavalry. Probably cavalry. Eh, I don't know how. Eh, we'll go. We'll go with that. And then, can I also have you recruit new soldiers? Yes. Give me more Draken units. Oh, wait. Hold up. No. Give me realm of the Falcon units. Okay. Oh, we don't have any in the treasury. All right, well, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Oh, sweet, we can sell pr prisoners to him as well? Dude, this guy's awesome. Fuck yeah. All right, we're actually making a decent amount of money off these guys. Unlike frickin' uh, Viking Conquest, that series is awful for trying to make money off troops. You get, like, the best units in the game, you get, like, 50 gold for them. Not worth it at all. And it costs, like, a grand to upgrade troops to the best unit in the game, so... Definitely not worth it. Okay. Uh, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. So that was the Constable Chamberlain. Mm, I don't think we need to talk to this guy at all. There we go. Looks good. Where is our chest? There it is. Um, so I'll go ahead and drop off this. We've started reading that. Actually, I tell you what, we're also going to drop off this and we'll drop this off too. Not gonna use that anytime soon. It's just so we have some extra inventory space for food and for loot. 
Um, let's also, I wanted to check out this household guard. What the hell? 10,000 orms a piece? Alright, I will recruit one just because I really want to see what he is all about. I assume this is just an extra buff unit of, compared to the hired units. 170 starting out and he's naked. He's got to be good. 87 health, 400 weapon proficiencies, 9s across the board. 10, in, 10 weapon master, 8 shield. Okay. Alright. I'm, I'm believing it. We need to change your equipment, buddy. Oh, wait, what? Change your equipment. Oh, we can we can give him the equipment. That actually kind of sucks for us. Well, <laughs> I didn't realize we had these leather boots here. I couldn't even see them. They're so dark. Um, okay, so we're going to have to actually equip him. All right. Uh, wow. All right, we're stationing him in the garrison because I don't want him being naked right now and trying to fight. And he was very expensive. You. You don't, you don't get into any fights, man. No fights for you. All right, looks good. Looks good right now. Let's go make some money. Let's go make some money. So let's, uh, tell you what. That one hasn't been raided yet. These ones, ooh. Oh, no, that one's still raided. Yeah, so we'll go do that. And then hopefully by the time we're done raiding that, the all the Zan units will start to clear out a little bit over here. Oh, that was Kunika. I, could, I saw this little blue dot over here, and I was like, is that a dead pixel? Are you kidding me? No, we're good. Hopefully they'll clear out, and so we can start raiding some of the some of the villages that used to be ours, um, but not anymore. All right, Neri, are they uh, they're wretchedly poor and miserable? Well, they're about to get more poor. <laughs> Bad news, it's about to get worse. Looks good so far. Elintor and the Hacken Empire made peace. Are the Hackens still around? If they somehow stand up to the Zan, I will be shocked. Okay, we lost honor. So be it. We're going to make a lot of money off this. We have, I mean, we, honestly, our army is so big now, and we're at war with so many people, we're not making as much money as we used to every week. Like, it used to be like 20 grand, now I think we're down to like 6 or 7. Which, obviously, still a profit. Not bad. But, Torvik, he needs more than that. He doesn't want to just barely be breaking even, and he, consider, he considers making 6 or 7 grand a week barely breaking even. We want to be making a lot of money. All right. Oh, so we just sold off of some fish. Give me that back. Oh, no, that's not the right one. There we go. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, seven and a half grand. Not too shabby. All right, so we're up to 30 grand. That's not bad. Do I have any money here? No. Okay. What we could try to do is maybe take a few lords prisoner. Hmm. Kaiser Oda, he's still walking around with 310, so he's doing decent doing decent what are our what is our honor rating it's at one mm, i mean i don't mind if we go negative torvik is not a particularly honorable character necessarily i don't mind if we go negative here Oop, some dragon priests running around very nice oh, there's still so many of these freaking dudes running around good god how are we ever going to be able to raid anything Ooh, a zan caravan Probably lose honor if we fight that thing, right? Maybe. Uh, we, can, we, can, we can run into it and see what happens. Uh, we do need money in the treasury there. Maybe we should give them some, a little something. Are they attacking it? Oh, yeah, they're already attacking it. Okay, then we might as well help them out. Might as well help them out. Honestly, I just want to see a, a group of, of 80 dragon priesters just charge in and wreck some fools. Alright, uh, let me station our archers on this hill. And everybody else will charge in. So they, uh, they do. Okay, so the Zan does have cavalry. I don't know why. I, I thought they didn't really have cavalry at all, but I guess maybe these are some mercenary troops. Oh, these are Viragos. Yeah, these are just mercenary troops, not so much Zan units. Fuck off. One shot him. Oh, shit. Okay, they made it through. They made it through. The <laughs> oh, God, our horse is dying. It's going down quick. All right, back off, back off, back off. Do we have this reloaded? We do. That's one. Fuck. We only had one shot left. Right, let's back away a little bit. Two shots are down. Two shots are down. There we go. I'm loving this crossbow, man. Guys, I really love this crossbow. Oh, shit. This guy's tough. Okay. Keep on backing away. Shit, this horse is going down. Oh, they missed. They missed. 
All right, turn this back around. There you go. That's one. Fuck. Maybe we should actually invest in some uh, some horse archery eventually. Because as much as... Yeah, because there's, there's no crossbow skill. And horse archery does actually affect its damage. So we're probably... Honestly, we might actually... Maybe that's why we're doing so little damage with this thing. Maybe we'd be one-shotting like just about everybody. Because this thing... This crossbow has, plus, uh, has 70 pierce damage. It should be wrecking fools. All right, there you go. High Priestess of the Dragon. You're welcome. Uh, are we going to get some... Okay, I don't know. We didn't really get jack shit from that, did we? I got a little bit of money. Whatever. Improving our relationship. That's that's all good. Ooh, okay, this dude has 53 prisoners. 264, though. That's kind of a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing some Lintoran dudes and a whole bunch of Draken Riders. That is not worth it. Not in my book. Okay. Baron Herman's in here. Is he what the one with, uh... He is, yeah, he's the Wyvern, or the Wyvern Dragoner, dude. Oh, here we go. 182 prisoners. That's more like it. They gotta have someone good, right? Uh, there's also... Oh, no, that's a deserter group. Okay. Okay. If we could get these, uh... Oh, shit, they're fighting them. Yes, we're making seven and a half grand a week. All right, it's not... It's really not bad. Our, our... Man, our... <laughs> our weekly wages now for our party is over 12 grand. Rents from Arklo Castle is actually five grand. That's not too shabby at all. But yeah, look at all the stuff we have under sequestration. We'd be killing it right now if we just weren't <laughs> at war with like everybody. You guys are really fighting these dudes. Why are you fighting them? Tell you what, I'm gonna let these dudes beat her, and then they should take a whole bunch of the Dragon Priesters prisoner, and then we can take them. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. That's thinking right there. That's thinking. Okay, so Merton Hall is making nine grand a week now with the 42 land, which is not a bad deal by any means. It's just not as much as I thought we'd be making. Okay, uh... Uh, no. Are we lost honor for stopping him? Oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> I thought that would make us gain honor by stopping the dude from raiding other people. How many do they got left? 178? And they have 22 Draken Priesters prisoner. If we can get those guys, holy shit, that'll be legit. I don't want to fight them at night, though. Wait for the morning. Wait for the morning, baby. No. Morning. There we go. There we go. Oh, fuck. They're coming in. All right. Oh, shit. No. 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 All right. This way. Come. Come fight. I don't want to fight both of you. All right. We need to keep an eye out for this party. We need to catch him unaware. I don't want to fight all of them. I mean, we could win against all of them. For sure. But I don't want to. I don't want to have to do that. All right. Let's, let's let him sep. All right. He's separating from the group already. I can see. Oh, shit. There's another one over here. 203... 300 prisoners? Oh my god. Ah, four wolf knights. What else you got? Oh, they got a dragon meister. Oh, that's one of the that's the dragon riding unit. The actual dragon, not even the the fake the fake dragons, the the wyverns. They got nine holy crusaders as well. Good god. Maybe the problem is all these things are so close to each other. I'd fight these two combined. I'd be fine with that. That'd be like 300 some, but not three of those, which would be like 600. Hmm. Making me mad. And look at this one over here. Oh no, 170. I thought they had, I thought they had 370. This is another big one over here. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Alright, 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 alright. Back off, back off. Let's, let's allow them to disperse again. When we're nearby, they all they they start to clump up. So is this is this a good one? No, I don't think this is a good one. That's, that's not one of the ones we want. And neither is this one. Okay. So neither is that one. So it's is it these two? Yes, it's that one. And no. Wait, where the where the Drakenmeister dude go? You probably just can't see him now. I think he was in the one that had three hundred prisoners. So it's this dude. That's the guy we want. Oh, he's over here. I think. Track in my no, that's another one. Jesus, it's hard to keep track of them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we want the dude with seventy-five prisoners. Okay, they're just chasing after those poor village farmers. Okay, starting to separate away. Who's this? Good. No. This is what I'm talking about. We need to pick our fights. We need to really pick our fights here. 
And it might take us going in at nighttime. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. Boom. Yes. Haha. 198. Let's go. We're in we're in a forest, so that's not a not great for us. Um uh, I don't like this battle die. We're gonna retreat real quick. Get a different one. There we go. This we can make do with. Okay. Um We're gonna Oh shit, they are really close. Archers, right here. Cav infantry charge in. Jesus, hello. Alright. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Right, we're just actually gonna tell you what, we're gonna distract a whole bunch of these dudes so our cavalry can mess up their cavalry real quick. Boom. Nice little hit right there. Turn back around, bitch. Who wants it? Ooh, headshot. That only did 54 damage. Lovely. I think we do a lot less damage when we're riding on the whole, like we're actually moving. Shit. Who are we running into here? Alright, well, at least our troops are doing a good job right now. Oh, we did lose one of the, uh, Realm of the Falcon units right there, but overall, doing a pretty good job. And we are trying to actually have them... Oh, no, we're not... We didn't get them to, uh, start recruiting more of them, because we didn't have money in the treasury. We probably shouldn't have wasted ten grand on the household unit. They just... <laughs> I thought that maybe they'd act like the other hired units, where we can just go in and, uh... And, and tell them what equipment to use, and they miraculously buy it out of out of their own pocket. So the household unit makes more sense. They're also very. That is very expensive. That is extraordinarily expensive. Come here. Get out of here. And oh, they hit his mount. My bad. Might be. God damn it! They keep on getting hit by other people and stopping. <laughs> oh my god! I just hit another mount. Okay. Back over here where there's a higher concentration of Xan units, and we probably won't kill our own units. Or maim their horses. That works. Ah. Very good. Get the what are you doing, man? Thank you. And you stealing more kills from me. Alright, we're almost done. It looks like they just got like three units laying around random spots on the battlefield. Should be over pretty soon. I didn't see our one knight unit. I wonder how he did. I'd be disappointed if he died. Come on. There's one left. There we go. Good battle. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Uno. Dos. And... Come on. One more. Ah, good enough. Alright, so let's see. Who did we lose? Draken Cavalry and one Skeleton Falcon? Pfft. Money. <gasps> yes! And we got him! 22 Draken Priesters! They're not as good as the, uh, the... Sectarian Dragon Priest, but man, they ain't far off. Actually, well, they cost more than them. They, oh, they might actually be better. Gee, <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. That's, you know, that's even better. That is even better. Okay, so we're going to get the rest of these units. Um, capture these guys. Don't mind if I do. Dragon Priest, Demon Worshippers, Wolf Page. Alright, and then we'll head back, drop some more troops off, and keep on going our merry way. This is going pretty good so far. Now, we are in, like, um, some very uh, contested areas, so to speak. Uh, this is not <laughs> not safe land, by any means. Um, oh, I would like to raid, like, this one right here. Tell you what, I think we might come back and raid this one, because all those, all those big groups, they're over here, they're over there, there doesn't seem to be a lot, oh, never, take that back, take that back. Why would I say that? Because there's obviously going to be a lot more of them that are just going to come around and uh, spawn out of nowhere. Seriously, how many troops could they have on the map? They said 4,000 when they invaded, when they invaded, they said there was 4,000 on the map. There's got to be more like twenty to 25,000. Easy. Easy. And part of that might... Oh, they're going to give us six grand for that dude? Sure, I'll take it. Um, and part of that might be because we have the uh, campaign AI all the way up on the hardest difficulty. So that's possible, but I don't know. Even then. Even then. Uh, freelancer? No. Inventory Bowman? No. Um, Do we even... Do we want these Dragon Priesters on us? Is the question. Hmm. I mean, it feels like a waste to just keep them in here, but... Maybe we can find some other units to put away. Like these, these guys don't seem to be doing all that great, to be honest. We're going to put them away. 
they started getting taken out in the last battle. Mercenary dude. Knight of the Eagle. We'll keep you around. Dragon Naps. Yeah, we want more of you. Eh, I guess we're just going to have to keep him. That's fine. we got a big army. Got to learn to like it. All right, so let's level up Agnar. Forgot about that. And actually, he should he should not be in these battles. We should put him at the bottom. That's a mistake. Because he's our healer. And he's doing a great job. 26 intelligence already. My man. My man. Okay. Is he our healer? He's got our surgery. Um, What else are we doing with him right now? What's our? What are we working next with him? First aid or wound treatment? I thought we had that, though. We have first aid and wound treatment. So what... What do we need out of you? We kind of have all of his skills that he can get maxed out right now. Huh. Where'd he go? Oh, he's already... Yep, at the bottom. Hmm. I mean, we could save up and then next level up be able to upgrade all those skills that he has at 8 all the way up to 9. Uh... Wish we could do inventory management. And that would increase for us. Who's our path... Ah, oh, he is our pathfinding. Dude, Agnar, you know what? We're just going to give you some skills. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We'll give you, uh, fuck. I guess spotting. Kangish has good spotting, but long term, um, Agnar's going to be able to get higher. Okay, Slider, what are we doing with you? Are you our, you're our looting guy, maybe? No. You could be our looting guy. You have some really good, uh... Agility. Alright, well, we're gonna start working on looting with you then. There you go. You've already tied Kangish? Yeah. Okay. Works good to me. Alright, let's, um, let's go do some... Oh, wait, no, we haven't sold our goods off. God damn, we're just doing... We're just doing... Holy shit, 159 Wolf Knights? And they're running from us? That tells you how strong our party is right now, guys. The Wolf Knights outnumber us significantly, and they run away. That's a very good sign. Okay. Uh, we don't need nobles right now, so we'll just go ahead and... Ooh, there you go. Got 5,000 from that. Sell off all of this. We haven't really been doing... Oh, shit, don't sell the book. <laughs> don't sell the book off. We haven't really been doing a good job, I feel, of... Um, of boosting up our garrison. That's what I want to be doing. It's just the problem is, like, I don't want to, like... I guess, tell you what, let's drop off the 22 Dragon Priesters for right now. Just for right now. And pick them up later, especially when we're talking about doing some more battling. Um, but this will give us some room, so that if we do encounter another big... Uh, ooh, what is this? Huh. Wow, they, look at that. Look at our vassal right there. His entire army is 5 Dragoners, 10 Cavalry, and 9 Writers. That's it. He's probably actually going to win that battle, to be honest. That is a very elite makeup. I don't know if we're going to be able to get at any of these villages without them coming around to stop us. Now, admittedly, they're not lords, so I don't think they respond to villages getting attacked. But the the odds that none of them walk by within range of us and chase after us are very low when raiding this. Like, how much does this dude have? 187? He might not try to beat us. What is... He has a Klingon Dragoner. What the, I swear they're just making up these household unit names at this point. Is he going to follow us? Yeah, he's better than us. I mean, we could fight him and beat him, obviously, but... He's just going to... Just more and more of them are going to come. I don't think we can really raid the Zan right now. We killed off a few of their big armies. We're doing our part. Um, but we're not... We don't really make a whole lot off that. We get some good troops. But we don't really make a whole lot. So we'll keep on checking them out, and every now and again, if we see a really good unit that one of them has, yeah, we'll go, we'll f we'll fuck them up for sure. But for right now, I don't think we want to fight them that much. Let's go down and make some more money. So who are we at war with? We are not at war with Drahara. We are still at war with these guys, but Elcor. Oh, sweet, Elcor's back. Perfect. We'll go loot that real quick. We're losing honor. Whatever. We'll get that back. We're in the middle of a of a massive like continent wide war. Uh, this is not the time for honor. This is not the time for honor. We'll help out these villages later. But for right now, we're raiding everything they got. Horde of Kurgia? Kelgia? Is that what it was? Great. So there's even unique armies running around. That's even better. Uh, okay. A truce between who? Just us and someone else, I thought. Oh, baby. There we go. I see gold ingots. I get excited. That's all I know. 
Not a lot of food, so I'm like, actually, this might not be that profitable, but we'll get something. Oh, 53 grand. Okay. Yeah. We make, <laughs> when we put our mind to it, man, we, we, <laughs> we make some cash real quick in this mod. Uh, but anyway, so there are kind of a few things I wanted to talk to in this episode. And I've just been busy, uh, paying attention and trying to be, uh, very safe in regards to all the, uh, Xan units running around. But anyways, um... What I was going to say is, it looks really good. So, some of you guys know, um, this summer I was looking to uh, work at the hospital. Because last summer, I, I volunteered there. Um, like, full-time volunteered. So, I didn't I didn't make any money last summer. And so, that's been kind of a struggle for me. Because, you know, I'm a college student. I'm broke as fuck. Um, and I, I didn't even make any money last summer. Because I was volunteering at the hospital to get experience. And so, this summer, I was like, I need to get a job. And I wanted to come back and work at the hospital to do the, the same stuff that I was doing... Uh, um, over the summer, which was just patient transport. So it's not something that you need like a degree or anything for like, you know, all you need is a high school education. And even that really, you don't, you don't, you don't really need it. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Um, but I really wanted that job because, you know, everything else that I'd be able to find over the summer is probably minimum wage, like eight, eight seventy five or whatever it is right now, eight fifty. And, but the hospital is it's, it's base salary is like 12 50, 13 bucks an hour. And if you work weekends, you get extra money. If you work afternoons, you get extra money. You work holidays, you get extra money. You get overtime, time and a half. like, And you can uh, schedule as many hours as you want. Um, and so there's potential to really rake it in this summer. And so I was like, I need that. I really need that because college ain't cheap, man. College is not cheap, um, as you guys probably already know. And like, especially with me like doing volleyball. Volleyball is also kind of expensive. Um, just because we're a club sport and we don't really get like funding from the university so when we like go and try to put ourselves up in a hotel well i mean that comes out of our own pocket so like i had to spend a lot of money on that and just basically i don't know i i, I play or i i'm very tight with my money because i know i i don't have i don't have wiggle room and and that's what i want i, I don't want to be like living so uptight I haven't gone out to eat in God knows how long. I just eat, you know, cafeteria food from my meal plan. So, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, it, so, it, anyways, what I was trying to say is it looks good. I got a call back um, from the manager who I'd, who I'd worked with last summer. And she was like, hey, it's great to hear from you, VMP. Um, we have, you know, a couple positions come summertime. And I'm looking forward to uh, working with you over the summer. So, I don't officially have the job. But, but she said, I'm looking forward to working with you. So I feel like that's a good sign. I feel like that's uh, the baby steps. Baby steps. Um, and then uh, literally just after I had gotten that, that email, my mom text messaged me and was like, uh, Hey, VMP, um, I just saw this, this sign advertising for uh, on-call firefighters. And I was like, um, did you like misspell something? On-call firefighter? And she was like, yeah, yeah, this summer in case the thing at the hospital doesn't work out. And in case you guys don't, don't know, Firefighters go through a lot of training. Like, I looked it up. It was like four to five months of training. And then the other thing is that is incredibly dangerous. So I was like, you're just willing to send your son... Like, you are suggesting your son becomes a firefighter for a summer job and risk his life just for a little bit of money over the summer. And she was like, I don't see what the problem is here. And I was like, sweet Jesus, Mom. One, it would take the entire summer just to train. Two, they're very selective. And three, just, you know, it's not, it's not worth it. Um, so luckily I was able to say, hey, I, it looks good for the job at the hospital because otherwise I think she would have probably tried to push it and would have, would have made me apply to it, which, ah, that's just ridiculous. Actually, one of the, I think you guys know, oh, these guys are actually too scared to fight us. Nice. I thought they were going to kill us. These guys might. Keep on raiding. Come on, make it quick, make it quick. Oh, fuck, they went in anyways. Eh, there's not that many of them. We can take them out. But uh, some, you, I think you guys know my buddy Nick, right? He's uh, he was in the um, my birthday vlog. If any of you guys have seen that, I know a bunch of you guys have have uh, subscribed since then. So probably a lot of you guys never saw my uh, birthday vlog from last summer. Um, but he's one of my good friends. That's actually what he wanted to do for the longest time was become a firefighter because he he uh, he ended up dropping out of college. It wasn't you know it wasn't really for him. He uh it was never really a great student and. Yeah, it just, it just wasn't for him. And so he wanted to become a firefighter, but he, uh, as he found out, that, that shit's hard to get into, man. That is, I mean, you have to, I mean, you're talking about 
you know, wearing like, God, probably 50, 100 pounds of equipment, going into burning buildings, lifting debris and people and uh, rescuing them and shit. Like, you have to be in insane shape. Like, it is very selective and hard to uh, do that. So, yeah. It, I talked to my dad afterwards. I was like, was she was she serious? And he was like, yeah, she just, your mom just didn't know. <laughs> she, she didn't really know what she was talking about. She thought she was helping. <laughs> But no, it looks good. I'm really looking forward to that uh, over the summer, so I'll be able to schedule my own hours. And I'm looking to work f full time, but you know, um, if I'm working the afternoon shift, that'll be from 3 to 11.30 at night. And as you guys know, I stay up crazy late. So that'll leave me plenty of time to uh, record episodes for you guys. And now I won't be stressing out with money, so I can maybe, you know, buy some new games. <laughs> buy some new AAA games instead of, you know, the same old, uh, uh, looks like we're in our 47th, uh, season of a different Mountain Blade, uh, mod. <laughs> Not that I'll ever stop Mountain Blade. I'm never gonna stop Mountain Blade. But still. Alright, that looked pretty good. Go ahead, and, so hopefully those big unit or those big armies don't come after us here. Uh, Kingdom of Tauranian, the Reich made peace? Wow, that was very quick. I guess, guess they're smart enough to realize that we're all at threat here from the Xan. All right, made eight grand. Nice. What are we up to? Is that 80 grand that I saw we have now? All right, losing a little more honor. But, you know, making some more money. That's what's important. All right, looks good. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Uh, but, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the summer. Uh, that being said, I only have, there's only like four weeks left of school. And it's looking, it's looking real dicey for me, guys, because uh, Volleyball Nationals are in Kansas City, and they are the entire week before Nationals. Like, we leave that Monday and get back that the Sunday before Finals start on, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, I don't know. That is that's going to be really stressful because it's not even just, fuck, 465. Okay, we'd get 109 if we win this battle. Alrighty, um, you know, never say never, never say never, let's do it, let's go, boy, we're at least gonna, uh, wait, archers, chill back over there, chill back over here, archers, you know, wait, I don't think we have any archers are even in right now, I think my battle size is turned down, because I turned it down for Viking Conquest, and it stays true, it does the same thing for when I'm playing Prisno. I wonder what it's at right now, I think it's probably like 400 or so, which is decent, that's actually probably about where I'd want it, because it doesn't lag, um, but it's still much, much bigger than, uh, native, obviously. Alright, well, we can just get some free shots and... Okay, never mind if our troops are gonna get in the way. Uh, we'll, we'll soften some people up. Get some headshots, increase our proficiency a little bit. They are... Ew, I don't... Their units are stacking up, though, which is not gonna be good for our cavalry. But that being said, if we're fighting, like... I think we're fighting at least three of these groups. If they have 450-some. Um... There's got to be some great prisoners, so even if we lose some troops, we're going to get some great ones back. There's a lot of Xan, right? Yeah, no, we're not We're not fighting this. We can't. Yeah, we're not going to fight this off. Okay. Oh, we leveled up. Perfect. All right, we're getting out of here. Boom. Oh, let's go. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe if we had the 22 uh, Dragon Priesters, that'd be better, but how many did we lose? Six? That's fine. That's fine. We're going to get out of here. Do they have some good units here? No, not even. Uh, these guys did. Yeah, those guys had some good units. This one, not so much. Yeah, okay. It's a good thing we didn't fight that through. That probably wouldn't have been beneficial in the long run. Uh, nothing good here. I'm still trying to find that dude that had the Drakenmeister, because that's worth it. The, seriously, like, those dragon riding units are so cool. Like, the wyvern riders look cool. So imagine what an actual full-blown dragon rider would look like. Baron Outfield, you're going to want to get out of here. Is this the... No, no, okay. I wasn't sure. I was trying to remember which um, which one of our vassals is actually the one that has the Drakenmeisters as his household unit. None of these dudes. Baron Richard? No. Actually, do I have it? Oh, no, I don't have that. I think I, read it, I wrote it down at one point, but I don't have that notebook on me. I normally have, like, a little notepad so that if anything really important comes up, I can write it down. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, so, wait, we got to sell stuff off, go to Murden Hall, and then I think we might actually stop down in that... uh. The mercenary guild. Um, see if they have any really good units, or if not, we'll just pick up whatever. Uh, we'll just pick up a whole bunch of those uh, hired units, because um, those guys are, are 
really what turned this around for us. Uh, they don't have too much money here, do they? Uh, okay, here we go. They got some money. Boom. All right. Nice little chunk of change. I don't think we need to do any more raiding. Not for the time being. We're up to 90 grand. Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty good turnaround, I'd say. Especially since we, we blew some money as well at the beginning. Yeah, that's a pretty good turnaround. All right. Let's, uh... I wonder, can we deposit money in our treasure? Oh, yeah, we can. They said we could when you can just walk in. That'll be perfect. Fuck, Kaiser Auto just got taken out. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Kaiser, what are you doing, buddy? We could go in and try to fight the people that took him out and get some of his uh, household units. That'd actually be really nice. Those guys look like... I don't think they look good. Is this a Morsoru dude? That's a Kulan guy. Mercenary Hunters. No, we're not wasting our time on them. Honestly, the hired units... Don't take that long to level up, and they become way better than most of these units. So, they're going to have to be pretty good for us to want to buy them. Hey, look at Falky Rangers. Four of you? We'll go ahead and pick you up. Look at Falky, guys are pretty good. Alright. Only one room left for for the random spawns, at least. We're just going to take a quick peek. Whoop. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not today. That's fine. We'll talk to our homeboy up here. See, I, I'm curious as to how fast he replenishes units. Because the last time, it like seemed almost instantaneously that he replenished them. Yeah, it's back up to 100. So I think we're really not having too big of a too big of a problem with uh, supply of these guys. We'll be able to get as many as we want, essentially. So what I might actually do in between episodes is uh, station a bunch of our units. Quick run down here. Get like 100 hired recruits and station those guys. Because they're cheap. They're only eight grand, or not eight grand. They're only eight a week. So if we were to station a hundred more troops in our in our castle, that thing suddenly becomes way more intimidating to the uh, AI, and it's only costing us, you know, it would be eight hundred, but they're they're stationed in a, in a castle, so it's only four hundred extra a week. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. So who are we at war with still? We're not at war with them anymore. So I guess it's just the suit giants and Valhir clan. Is that it? And then obviously, obviously the Xan. Um, oh, oh man, look at the Hackens. They just got crushed. Oh, and they took Crane from them. Is the oh the Hacken the Hackens are done? Yeah, they took Crane. The Hackens have nothing left. Okay. Well, good news is is the at least the Xan stopped taking castles. <laughs> that was really worrying for a while. When they take half the map in a single episode, you kind of worry what's gonna happen the next episode if the game might just be over. Um, but luckily that was not the case. Um, let's go, tell you what, we're gonna get 10 of them, um, as hired archers. I forget how many, there we go. Uh, make it 15 or whatever. So we got a bunch of those now. Um, and the rest of these will go into hired soldiers. Yeah, just a little more tanky. Okay, well, the rest of these will station here. And then I definitely want them leveling those dudes up. Um... Oh, we got another one of the hired knights. Awesome. Now the Dragon Ritter, hired mastered archer. Still haven't gotten any of the hired sharpshooters yet, but that's fine. All right, that's looking good. It's looking real good. So let's uh let's go to Lord's Hall. So we'll go ahead and press. Oh, numpad one, not regular one. There we go. Okay, so we got twenty grand here. That should that should be enough for him to start upgrading them a decent amount. All right. Looks good to me. Okay, I don't know, how long has this episode been going on? I, I had to move my phone out of the way because I was getting texts. Okay, I think we can go ahead and end it off there. That was a very good episode for us. We made a ton of money. We, uh... How much How much uh, troops did we get here? Alright, we didn't get to 200, but we're almost at 200. And uh, we got some really good units as well. Those 22 Dragon Priesters are going to be huge. Oh my god, 470? Tell you what, let's quick pick up these dragon priesters. We might get, I might, we might squeeze one more battle out here, just maybe. Is that the dude that took out Kaiser Odo? It wouldn't surprise me. How much did this guy have? Two or three? Because Kaiser Odo had a lot of troops. He was still in the three hundred. So whoever took him out probably has a whole bunch of prisoners right about now. Yeah, so that's the wyvern dragon guy. I want to watch him if he gets taken out, because that he'll be bound to have a lot of good units. What do we got here? Oh my god, the text is so tiny. Looks like a mainly Makavian unit, so I doubt 
I mean, 470, obviously he's got to have good units, but I'm not going to take out and take the risk because that is a 300-something man army. It's not like fighting the little ones. What do we got here? Van Reinhold. All right, he's starting to get a little bit of an army going. Wolf Knights, they're running away. Let's check out this group. Because I assume that they would have fought somewhere in this area. They caught Kaiseroto out. He was, like, going above and ran into a whole bunch of them. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Obviously, his best unit. What are what are they called? The drac. Or hmm. The, there's some special form. Oh, hello. That's one of their actual lords. Oh shit. Um. Do we want to fight this guy? I wouldn't mind taking out one of their actual lords. Who is this? Oh, 343 prisoners. And only 139 troops. Okay, never mind. We're fighting this dude, and he has a wyvern rider. Okay, I'm sold already. It's enough for me. 134 or 138 with a with 350 just about prisoners. There we go. This will be our last battle. Men, charge right in. All right, we'll have our archers chill right here. Tell what, I'm just gonna say fuck all those cavalry units. We're just gonna sweep along the side and uh, use our use our trusty dwarven crossbow. Ouch, ouch. Okay, they are firing back at us. Surprise, surprise. Oh, shit, what? Why did... How did their cavalry even see me? Those guys have some... Look at those sabers. Those sabers are freaking massive. That is scary. How tough is... Okay, that is... She had a shitty horse, too. So, I don't know if we, we would have even wanted it. Ouch. Jeez, this guy's tough. Ouch. Luckily, neither of them are getting good hits on us. Ooh. There we go. Zan mounted berserker. How can you have a berserker that's mount... Uh, uh, Carlson Firebrand. I guess that's an example. <laughs> Caught that <laughs> before I even finished saying it. Okay. Oh, my God. That, that cavalry charge we just had was beautiful. Oh, uh, we're just ripping through them. Nice. All right. Let's take out... Unfortunately, by the time we, like... Get out in the open. All they have left are their shitty units that aren't even like worth any XP to us. Don't even really train up our. Oh my god! And then and then our guys get in our way as well. Oh, our troops are too good. What a first world problem to have. <laughs> Black step horse. We can ride this right. And the battle's over. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Awesome. All right. Now let's check this out. Tell me we got some good units down here somewhere. You know what? I'm going to assume we got somebody. We're just... <gasps> oh! Yes! The Drakenmeister! We got the Drakenmeister! Fuck yes! He's riding a dragon! Oh, baby! And we and we got some Kaiser Lich Dragoners. These are... Oh, my God. This is Kaiser Odo's unique units. Holy shit! Yes! Yes, yes. A million times yes. Sectarian Dragon Priests. We're getting everybody. We're getting everybody. Holy shit. That is hype. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> what a great battle. That is perfect. All right, we're going to take these cavalry. To fill up the rest. I'll get an Oka Falcon Knight, whatever. Holy shit. We got the Dragon Meister. I didn't... I had... I did not expect that at all. Oh, that is amazing. We don't have we don't have the dragon priestess yet. So he'll have to do for now. We're gonna check this dude out. The Dragon Meister. Check. 105 hit points. 50 strength. 525 weapon proficiencies. 10 power strike. 10 shield. 8 athletics. 10 riding. And you wanna see the dragon? You don't get to see the dragon quite yet. We're gonna go over his other stuff yet first. Black Gothic Armor, 70 and 34. 72 and 8 for his helm. Oh my god. Warhammers that are doing 40 blunt damage. That'll do a lot. Uh, gold Dragon Shield, that just looks baller. Black Seal Greaves, Black Plate Mittens, Black Striped Lance. Alright, and you want to see the, the dragon? Boom! Ice Dragon. 100 armor, 500 hit points. 45 speed, which is pretty quick. And 110 charge. Good God. 
that is, yes, that is satisfactory, Dragonmeister. You're doing great. Whatever you're doing, just keep it up. All right, on that note, we're going to end it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. That just cements that this, this was a terrific episode for us. Hopefully you enjoyed. As always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this series and all the rest of the series we got going on right now. And as always, take it easy, guys.